Okay, so on the notes we just talked about urine formation. On here, um, oh, I wrote this over here, but there's three parts. I'm going to add to those based off of what we talked about on here. The three main parts of urine formation are the filtration, the reabsorption, and the secretion, and we'll talk about where that goes. Um, so when we're looking at this, we can see all of this stuff going here. The real start of urine formation is when stuff is getting filtered out of the blood through the glomerulus. So the Bowman's capsule is the first place where we have urine production. Okay? That urine eventually then is going to go through these renal tubules. We have renal tubules that we call proximal renal tubules and distal renal tubules. Um, those are just, are they closer to the glomerulus or are they further away? Just like you would think with body and positioning and anatomical terminology, okay? Um, so, first place that urine is formed is in this Bowman's capsule. It goes through the renal tubules. Um, that first part of, sorry, I, know, I don't even know if this is upside down for you guys or not or how it's going to go, but filtration happens in the glomerulus. And you know that, and that's actually already written on your sheet, okay? Now, when we're talking about reabsorption for urine production, we know that reabsorption happens in, for the blood, and this is where the stuff is being reabsorbed into the paratubular capillaries. But stuff is getting taken out of this, um, out of this urine. What are things that are absorbed back? Sometimes water, sometimes some glucose or other things or ions of different types that the body needs for homeostasis. So when we're talking about reabsorption, where is that happening? Reabsorption for, I should have urine formation here. Um, reabsorption for urine formation is happening in those renal tubules. I'm really sorry if this is upside down, okay? So you have reabsorption that's happening here. There's things that are not reabsorbed into the blood, and that was on your note. Things like your urea, your acid, and then there's obviously some water loss. Uh, when you're talking about producing urine in the first place. And um, we talked about that medical diagnosis and what your urine can kind of look like as far as color and, and smell and all that kind of interesting stuff, okay? So then eventually reabsorption happening through those paratubular capillaries in the vas directa within the blood, but really in the renal tubules. Then eventually it's got to get out of here, okay? So it gets out of this nephron and leaves through as we already have here, those collecting ducts. So that last process of urine formation is secretion. And where does it go for secretion? I'm just gonna go first, it leaves the nephron through collecting ducts. Then from collecting ducts, it goes to those cup shaped things that catch the urine kind of, which is called calluses. From calluses, eventually it's gonna go to the renal pelvis, which is continuous with the um, ureter eventually you have the ureter which is connected to your urinary bladder which we'll talk about that tomorrow or next time sorry that word together and then after that that urinary bladder oh, goes to your urethra and then that eventually goes out oh, that's out of your body so that's your information. Filtration happening in the glomerulus. I'm going to go this way again. Filtration happening in the uh, glomerulus or really Bowman's capsule where very first urine production is happening. You have re reabsorption happening through the renal tubules. Then last but not least, you have secretion which is happening to get out of the nephron through those collecting ducts to calluses to renal pelvis to the ureter to the urinary bladder to the urethra and eventually out of your body. All right, that's it for today and your in production. Hope you're all doing well. Have a great day. Bye.